Sports Most Decorated Skier. And by the way, when I say most decorated skier, I'm not saying for women. I mean for men and women. We say greatest skier of all time. We're not talking about just women. Michaela Schifrin is the greatest skier amongst any person alive ever. To watch the greatest athlete our sport has ever known tear it up at the top. Point one three gives herself every chance. Heading into the lower half, great to follow Schifrin. Oh, well, with sports experts and enthusiasts alike singing her praises, who's to argue that Michaela Schifrin is not the greatest in her craft? Especially since this is backed by her astounding world records. So when her name came up among the 100 best athletes of the 21st century, released by ESPN in mid-July, it did not come as a surprise. For context, the ranking was created 25 years ago and only concerned North American athletes, but has now been extended to the whole world. In considering the best athletes of the 21st century, they have expanded the choices beyond North America. ESPN editions from around the globe contributed to the nominations and voting process, as well as the individual sport list rankings. Voters were instructed to consider only an athlete's performance since 2000. In its conclusion, ESPN received more than 70,000 votes from ESPN contributors to create the top 100. And yes, Michaela Schifrin is among them. On the website, the Sports Channel highlighted Michaela's key accomplishments. Three-time Olympic medalist, two-time Olympic gold medalist, record 96 World Cup wins, and 59 World Cup slalom victories, most of which are in a single discipline. As if that isn't enough, she once again etched her name in history books when she chased down a record in March last year that consumed the minds and careers of countless ski racers for 34 years. And so with that, she became the winningest alpine skier in history, while consequently winning her 87th World Cup. One year later, the USA Alpine skiing star continues to break more records after passing Ingemar Stenmark's all-time wins mark. Listen to this. Michaela so far has 96 World Cup wins. She ranks first all time, eight ahead of Stenmark with 86 in FIS Alpine Ski World Cup career wins. The closest female is the retired Lindsey Vaughn with 82. At 29 years old, Schifrin already has 17 global medals, two golds and a silver at the Olympic Winter Games and seven golds, four silvers and three bronzes at world championship events. Her list of accomplishments is staggering, to say the least. With 59 World Cup slalom wins, she ranks first among skiers, male or female, in one discipline. What's more, she is the only person, man or woman, to have won a race in each of the World Cup's six disciplines. Downhill, Super G, Slalom, Giant Slalom, combined in parallel. To say that a lot has happened to the skiing star this year would be an understatement. In January, she bagged a record-extending 95th career World Cup victory and became the most successful female slalom skier in the series. The American superstar was in imperious form, laying a solid foundation in her opening run with a 0.52 seconds advantage over the second-place Zarinka Ludic of Croatia. Schifrin led the rest of the field by more than a second, setting her up nicely for another record-breaking performance on the hill. A few days later, however, Schifrin was airlifted to a hospital after suffering one of the scariest crashes of her career in the World Cup downhill race in Cortina d'Ampezzo in Italy. It all happened when Schifrin was speeding down the Olimpia delle Tofane course in Cortina d'Ampezzo, Italy, set to be featured in the upcoming 2026 Winter Olympics. This is, oh man, no, and Schifrin goes down. Oh. She lost control while trying to land a jump and crashed into the safety nets on the side of the course. The alarming incident prompted an immediate response, with Schifrin remaining down for approximately 10 minutes as medics attended to her. In the aftermath, Schifrin was airlifted to a local hospital, where she underwent evaluation for a potential left leg injury. Shortly after, Schifrin's team said in a statement that the athlete was taken by ambulance to the clinic in Cortina and is being evaluated for a left leg injury. 
Initial analysis shows the ACL and PCL seem intact, the statement read. A few hours later, Michaela tweeted, thank you all for your support. Then, in an Instagram post, she shared a photo of her resting and another with the team. In the post, she shared that she is just taking it day by day. Two months later, in early March, she earned her 96th World Cup win and clinched an 8th World Cup slalom season title, tying the record number of titles for one discipline in her first race since spraining leg ligaments in January. Schifrin won a slalom by 1.24 seconds in RA Sweden, the site of her first World Cup win at age 17 in 2012, and her record-breaking 87th World Cup win last March. It's just been so important to me to race again this season with good skiing before the season is over, just to finish it off with something positive, so I can start next season in a better place too," Schifrin told Swiss broadcaster SRF. But it's been so uncertain, it just feels a little bit like we're in a dream. A few days later, she drew the curtain on her 2023-24 season at the Alpine Skiing FIS World Cup Finals in Salbach, Austria with a seventh slalom victory. The double Olympic gold medalist raced to her 60th World Cup win in the slalom and 97th overall, bringing an injury-plagued season to a thrilling end. The spring conditions made for tricky skiing, particularly for the top contenders racing in reverse order, but Schifrin, going down the piste second last, was once again the epitome of consistency as she moved to the top of the standings. Schifrin tasted victory with a combined time of 1 minute, 53.22 seconds, with Norway's Mina Forst Holtman finishing as runner-up, 0.54 seconds behind her. Sven Larsen finished third in 1, 53.8. Oh wow, it has been a wild season. I am really happy to be sitting here and for the final race of the season to go so well, Schifrin told the FIS. She also added, I'm looking forward to next season already. That, she definitely is. Even as the Summer Olympics only recently came to a close, the American Alpine skier is already looking ahead to the 2026 Milan Cortina Winter Games. Women's skiing in 2026 will take place in Cortina, where Schifrin has competed in more than a dozen career races. This is one place in the world I would say whether it's during the games or after. If you travel anywhere, you should travel to this region, because it's our favorite stop on the World Cup tour for most of the athletes. One of the favorites at least, she said. The two-time Olympic gold medalist described the views in Cortina as unbelievable and said she is looking forward to the food. My favorite pizza restaurant in the whole world is about an hour away from Cortina, she said. Seeing that she was in Paris to root for her fellow Americans shows how excited she is for her turn at the Winter Olympics. Fancy to see you here. Yeah. What brings you to Paris? Right? I, I mean, I guess the, the Summer Olympics, right? But <laughs> <laughs> something is askew. You're a Winter Olympian. Yeah. Phenom. Not a lot of snow around you. Really though, Schifrin was in Paris to take a break from training and get inspired by some of the summer athletes. I'm here to watch Team USA compete. I'm here to kind of check in with the sports world. And also, for me, it's a little bit of a psychological experiment," Schifrin said. I think seeing anybody compete at the top level in their sport is astounding for me. It's something that inspires me. For sure, coming to Paris 2024 as a fan felt like a different and closer experience. I'm mostly watching events, cheering on Team USA. One of the reasons I was interested in coming is to get in touch with this Olympic vibe that's a bit different from our normal competitions," the 29-year-old told Olympics.com. Watch this to see what actually happened at the Paris Olympics.